hello everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i'm so happy to have you here so today i did not plan to pick up the camera but i just really want to and i'm feeling motivated to so i'm going to um we've had a rough morning it's 11:40 now it's not been a rough morning it's just been a long morning i guess so I had promised the two younger boys that I would take them to the farm today because AJ had a field trip today and he's going to the zoo. However, I didn't know that the farm was closed during the week. They're only opened on the weekend. So that was a mom fail. I promised them something I couldn't give. So we ended up going to the Goodwill this morning and they picked out some toys. I got some pretty awesome stuff, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But last night, I did not get to clean up after dinner. It was a late night, and we ended up rushing to bed after dinner. And so my house is in a massive array or whatever, dismay, whatever. I don't even know what word I'm looking for, but it is just a whole mess. So I didn't even work out today, which I really wanted to you. But I just cannot, sorry, I cannot work out with my house looking like this. Like, I will show you guys in a minute. My house never really looks this bad. And when it does, I usually don't even want to pick up the camera only because it's so overwhelming to try to tackle the mess plus bring the camera with me. Not that I don't want it, you guys to see it. It's just, and for me, it's overwhelming. So when it's this messy, I usually just try to get it done, especially when I'm already working between my kids saying mommy this mommy that and then so it makes it really hard for me to get it done but today I feel very good about it and we're gonna get it done so yes don't mind my hair today y'all I did something different last night in the shower with it than I would normally do and I feel like it was an epic fail so not gonna try that again but let's get busy y'all so we're going to go ahead and start this video with some before shots. There's just stuff everywhere. The sink is full. I've got these sandboxes sitting here. I had to confiscate from the kids because they just kept making a mess with them. And then I've got all the hair stuff from getting the kids ready uh, out on the table. And then our, like our living room actually doesn't look too bad. Usually the living room is not bad. It's just bad when all the toys are out, but typically we get that cleaned up at night anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get this island cleaned up so I can show you guys what I got at the Goodwill this morning. Um, I did spend a little bit of money, but I saved a ton of money on half of the stuff anyway. So I feel like it was a good deal. So can't wait to show you guys that. So this is me realizing I literally have no rags out because I am so behind on laundry that all my rags were sitting in baskets full of clean clothes. But I went and dug one out and now I get to clean the counter. But before that, I was showing you all the little stains on there. So I don't know if there was like juice stains. I know there was a blueberry stain that I couldn't get off. But I went ahead and grabbed this magic eraser and it came right off. And I was just showing you how easy it is. Just in case y'all might have the same issues with a little bit of stains on your counters and you don't know, magic eraser is the way to go. All right, so this is my Goodwill haul for today. I spent way more than I went there to spend. I promise I did. I spent um, $86, but I did get this floaty for Carson. Um, we have one for AJ, and he Carson hasn't started using one of these yet, and I knew he would most likely start using them this year, so I figured why not go ahead and buy it. When I get it a little bit cheaper... Um, this was $6 and I know for a good one and this one is I can tell because like the really cheap ones don't even have like all this writing and directions on it. Trust me, I've looked at them. So I'm pretty sure this one probably would have cost it close to $20 brand new. So I was cool with that. I'm going to move stuff as I go. I did get this football for my oldest son and my husband for $2. Now I was just looking at a football for them last week at Ross for $10 and I ended up not getting it and I'm glad I weighed it now because I saved me eight bucks because the thing is is like the footballs that we do have they're all worn out and like falling apart so I knew they needed one I'm glad I waited 
Carson picked this out and it's still, it has, it's a chargeable remote control car and it, this has battery so I was able to test it and it does work. I paid $10 for this. So far everything I showed you was a yellow tag so boy did I wish that the yellow was on sale today but it was not. It was orange and I absolutely got nothing orange. But this he was so excited to play with this but then he fell asleep in the car on the way home so he hasn't even had a chance to play with it because he's still sleeping. Um, and then... I got this toy because, you know, every time we go to the Goodwill, I have to pick something out for AJ on so when he gets home from school, he doesn't feel like he missed out. Oh, that's another thing. I can't even, I didn't even bring it in. I got um, Austin picked out a little car, too, that makes noise, but it must have been left in the car. So I got this board game for them. It's 3M+. Plus. It looks very easy for them to be able to play. So I went ahead and got this for us to play together. And then I got this basket. It's got like flour or something. I got to clean it off. But this basket was $5. I really liked it. I feel like it matches the basket. Like it looks really good up there, right? It's not exactly the same, but I did want another basket for up here to put like AJ's. Um... See, it doesn't look bad, but I'll rearrange it this so it doesn't look mismatched. I'm going to probably, probably put this sideways. Like, it's a little heavy, but sit it sideways and then sit this behind it back there. Because there's a lot of space up there. And in that basket up there, I got, like, chalk. Everything that I don't want the kids playing with, I got up there. But you see, there's enough space. Like, if I turn this backwards. And then I got their sandboxes hiding up here, too. Because if they have full access to that, oh, my goodness. I would have sand everywhere. Well, I do. I have sand everywhere in my house all the time. <laughs> well, but... Um, and then this, I was really excited to find. I actually have to look it up to see if I even got a good price on that. Because this was $25. Um, I was looking for one of these for AJ. AJ loves to draw and he loves to put items in front of him and try to sketch them. And I was thinking that this would be great as a Christmas gift for him. It actually says 100, I'm at ages 5 and he turned 5 after Christmas this year. So maybe it was perfect. But I'm going to make sure it works and everything. I made sure all the, all the pieces were in there before I bought it. But I'm going to make sure it works and I'm going to set this up for Christmas for him. Um, last year when I wanted to buy him one for Christmas, um, the only thing I saw on Amazon was for an iPhone. And we do not have iPhones. But this looks like it would be awesome. And I am so excited for him to get this for Christmas. So let's go ahead and put this down so I can show you the clothes that we got. So I got two pieces of clothing. All right, so I went ahead and laid it out for y'all. But I got me this shirt. I absolutely love it. It's got like the lighter purple and it goes into the darker purple. It's long. I like long airy shirts. It makes me comfortable. And it has a little peekaboo back. I don't know if that's what that's called, but that's what I'm calling it. And I just really like it. I paid $4 for it. So I really like this. So I'm excited to, to wear that. And then I also got me this shirt. They had two of these exact shirts, except for they were different print. And I couldn't decide on which print, but I didn't know if I should have both the shirts because they were both the same colors, just different prints. I opted to get just one because it was a little bit on the pricier side, $6. But I absolutely love this. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm wishing I bought the other one. But I love this, y'all. I don't even know what brand this is, Wonderly. I don't know. I have to look it up because I absolutely love this. I don't know why I love it so much. And then I always look at basketball shorts for Cameron because he could never have enough. And plus, he's a growing boy, and a lot of his shorts he's growing out of. So I did find these Nike basketball shorts that I went ahead and grabbed for him. They were $5. And then I also found these, which I am in love with. I don't know. I hope he'll like them. or, But they are Maryland Crab basketball shorts. I mean, how cool is that? So if you don't know, we do live in Maryland. So I thought this was 
completely awesome with the Maryland um, pockets. So I grabbed that and this also was five dollars but i'm gonna ask my hubby if he wants them first and then i'll ask cameron i hope one of them like it as much as i love it <laughs> and then these are what i found for the boys so i got this outfit it's a 3t i do know that my 3t stash was a little low for the older ones so i am fine with buying a little bit here and there plus it was only two dollars for this whole set so I just went ahead and grabbed that for Austin to grow into. That's actually his ne next size up for him. And then I got these gray sweatpants because, you know, I always shop. If you shop the season out season, you usually find the better pieces out of season, if that makes sense, because everybody's there looking for in-season stuff. If you're looking for out-season stuff, you find good things. So I got these for $2.99 for AJ and Carson. They're both in the same size now for next winter and then I found these Nike swimsuit which I am absolutely in love with it's very cute and I it's a size medium which I believe like a size medium is probably like a size seven eight so they still got some growing to do see it says medium seven to ten they still got some growing to do in this but for two dollars and 49 cents Heck yeah, I'll hold on to it for a little while. So if you're new to my channel, this refrigerator we had just gotten uh, maybe like a week and a half ago and it was secondhand. So I had gotten up here to put my basket up here to try to arrange it in a way that would work for me. And then I realized how dusty it was up there. So I had to run and grab another rag and go ahead and clean it off before I did anything else up there because this was my first time actually getting up and looking at the top of it. So we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And then I did put the new basket that I had gotten up here with the other basket and it's just to, um, I really need to find something else to do with those sandboxes, which I do have a cabinet for them. I just need to find a lock that fits it that the kids can't get into. It's not that I don't want them to play with the sandboxes. It's just, I need to be able to supervise it and make sure they don't have unlimited access to it. Like if I'm washing dishes and then they go in there and just throw the sand throw over, over the whole house. And that's why I also store our bubbles and our chalk. And I think that's the only thing. Yeah, bubbles and chalk and the sand I keep up here because those are the three things that they will literally destroy my house with. Like I can deal with Play-Doh and stuff, but bubbles, chalk, and sand is a no-go for me. Before I get really into cleaning the kitchen, I wanted to go ahead and get the laundry started. That way the laundry could be working while I'm working and I'm killing two birds with one stone. So that's what we're doing right here. Y'all, it has been so long since I had this much laundry to fold, but we're going to get it done today, hopefully. So now we're moving right along and getting into the kitchen. So 
If you're new here, I had just gotten my dishwasher and I keep forgetting that I don't have to actually clean the plates with like soap and water like I'm used to and I keep doing that by accident. But yes, I did just get a dishwasher and for all my return friends, I did record us putting the dishwasher in and stuff and then like when I got the video and started editing it, I realized that that video just didn't feel like it was working for me, like it felt incomplete. So we ended up scratching that video, but I did get the dishwasher in. So y'all, every time I go to record, I just feel like I'm always recording. You know, it feels like I'm always cleaning the kitchen and the dining room and doing laundry. And, like, I, it feels like it's the same thing. And I try to change it up a bit for y'all. But then I think about it and, like, honestly, it's just I do what needs to be done that day in that video. And it always just happens to be laundry and dishes. And plus, you know, with all the kids, I am taking massive amounts of breaks. You guys just don't see them in the video because obviously I edit it out and stuff, but I don't get to work consistent consistently. And I know that it's not like this for just me, that there's other people that have a hard time be able to consistently get things done. But I do try to keep it really real to life here. So if you are new here and you are enjoying this video, I hope you watch a few more and decide to subscribe because I love all the new friends that join our community. Um, so yes, please, I do a lot of cleaning motivation, mom motivation. I show some cooking and grocery hauls. I also share our meal plans for dinner ideas. So please check out my channel. And for all my consistent friends who are here with me every week for every video, I want to say thank you so much. You guys are my motivation. So I get on here and I do these videos to help motivate you guys, but you are my motivation. And I want to thank you so, so much for being a part of this journey with me for sure. So we got the sink empty. It's looking nice and pretty. I got to get those put away. But I only have maybe about 40 minutes before I have to leave to go get AJ. So we got to clean up the rest of this stuff. No my my Pop-Tarts right here. Those are hubbies. And I don't have any room for them in any of the cabinets. So I got to figure that out. But we're going to clean all this stuff up. Hopefully I can get this cleaned up and get the dining room picked up before... I have to leave. So this day, I was able to get the kitchen basically completely done before going to pick up my preschooler from school. And then every day when we come home, if it's a nice day, I always go outside and we play with the kids and then we come in and then I do dinner. Sometimes if we're cooking on the grill, I try to do that so they can play outside a little bit longer. And so I did not get any of that laundry, like that massive pile of laundry that you saw that I needed to fold it, that did not get done. And I have told myself that I am not going to stress myself with any of the cosmetic things, anything that is not honestly important to my family or something that is dire need for myself. Like I want to prioritize working out and like stuff for my health, but anything other than that is not going to be a priority for me anymore. I'm going to prioritize, um, what is the word I'm looking for? taking in this time with my young children. I want to take this time to relax and enjoy the time that I have with them while they're still young. So 
if I have all the laundry and baskets, then that's what it's going to be for just another day because what's more important to me right now is making sure that they have the best childhood that they can have. And so that's why I'm not going to stress it. So I did take them outside and we just got some um, gardening done. I was also just showing you the black. It was actually an apron. So if you have been watching my channel, you know I'm making a barbecue basket for a dear friend of ours who is retiring. So I got him the apron that says um, retired 2024, not my problem anymore. And it's so cute. We're so excited to give it to him. Uh, I think I got everything I need for it now. So now I just have to figure out how I want to put it together. I'm so excited to give it to him. But sadly, I won't be able to be there because I just can't leave um, Austin for that long of time. But yes, I am so excited about putting it together and seeing how it turns out. And I'll probably share that on my channel too because it would be a good like Father's Day gift too. So if you're looking for some ideas. Is. So I'll make sure I'll include that in a video here coming up soon. But yes, I'm probably going to be leaving to get AJ in a little bit and then you'll see me back in a few seconds. But I also wanted to tell you guys, you see that box on my microwave. It is the um, refrigerator drink dispenser that I had grabbed at Aldi's um, in my last grocery haul. I showed it to you guys and it was missing a piece so we can't even use it. I did return it since this video, since recording, I returned it. They didn't even have it anymore, so I couldn't even get a new one. So that was upsetting. So we ended up not having it. But you know what? My fridge is pretty full, and we have, like, nowhere to put it anyway. So I guess it was a blessing in disguise. So here is some after shots of after getting done with the cleaning. Of course, I forgot to shut the cabinet because we all know I am famous for leaving all the cabinets open. But y'all, I also forgot to clean my refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick before we leave. And then when I come back, I am going to get the dining room picked up because as you've seen in my before shots, that dining room really needed it. And here it is like almost dinner time and I still haven't even gotten the table cleaned off from the morning. So I have to go ahead and get that done. <music> So it actually worked out well for me that the kids were so excited to come in real quick to grab their new remote control car that I was able to say, well, y'all, before we go back outside, we need to pick up a little bit. So I went ahead and hurried up and was cleaning up. And usually they don't even want to come inside when we get back home from picking AJ up. They just stay out there. And I typically would have a hard time with coming back in. But because of the remote control car, they did come in. So I was able to actually get the table cleaned off because normally we wouldn't even make it in the house, if that makes sense. So we're about to be outside. I'm going to show you our little garden update. So here's our little strawberries. We got a couple going. This one's starting to turn red a little bit, so I think that's done. But we got a couple more over here. This one doesn't look like it's going to make it. Back Definitely not. Ooh, Hubby just pulled up, and this one's got some blooms coming in. And then we got AJ flowers are coming in, but Carson's has not started yet. I'm not really sure. And then here's our blueberry bush. So you guys see the little blueberries? I mean, these are beautiful. They make me so happy. We have two blueberry bushes. The other day I was replanting some of the plants that needed to be planted and we ran out of soil so I had to go ahead and place a pickup order and I grabbed two new bags from Walmart so that's what you see me doing I was finishing up the that uh, that bag of soil that needed to be have more soil added to it but we really need to get the squash zucchini and cucumbers plants started um, I was supposed to do it I believe yeah last weekend but I was 
really sick and just ended up not getting it done. So we're a week late, but hopefully it doesn't make too big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and plant our squash, zucchinis, and cucumbers in these grow bags. And we're going to put tomato cages in there to have them grow vertical. Um, so that's what you see me doing. So the soil that's already in the bag is last year's soil. So I'm mixing it up, breaking up whatever roots may be in there. And then I'm putting the new soil in it and mixing the new with the old. I did also add a little bit of fertilizer in the old soil, but I'm still very confused on how to, I don't know, fertilize these plants. So yes, you guys, I am growing all this stuff and I don't even really know fully everything that I'm doing. Doing. I'm just doing the best I can. They do say that to learn the garden is best by doing it. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just jumping right in. We actually just harvest um, our lettuce today. And then I found out that the lettuce regrows. So we still have like the, tr the trunk of the lettuce in our ground and it should regrow for us. But we got like two and a half bags of lettuce today out of four plants and we actually just had BLTs and used it. It was so delicious y'all but this was our first year growing lettuce and it was super easy so if you're looking into something to start off growing lettuce was super easy to grow. Also snap peas and squash we had a very successful result last year which last year was our first year growing period. So just to let you know but we have came inside now now that I got all that that I needed done in the garden I got that done and now I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner and tonight we are making a teriyaki chicken with broccoli and rice so I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the rice I usually this day I cooked um, a cup and a half of rice and that was actually a lot probably for a family of six we could have gotten away with just a cup of rice but i used to use the uh, boil in a bag so i'm brand new to using the rice that's not already in a bag if that makes sense so i do also cook it with some butter in there i don't know if that's like a thing or if that's just a my thing what you got do you have blueberries Mmm, they're so yummy. So we're going to snap this chicken and broccoli and get it all chopped up. But you guys, I just wanted to show you guys my hardworking husband. He works so hard all day, drives about an hour to two hours home, and then comes home and cuts the grass. He is my hero, y'all. But let's get back to dinner. All right, so now I'm going to make some homemade teriyaki sauce i'm gonna use some soy sauce garlic brown sugar honey and cornstarch plus water y'all so if you're interested in the recipe i'll go ahead and have it in the description for y'all but basically you're just going to take a cup of water a fourth cup of soy sauce and then I put about five tablespoons of brown sugar and then I eyeballed some honey in there and I put about two spoons of the minced garlic and then I did mix two teaspoons of cornstarch in with a fourth cup of water and then mixed that in there. I'm not like completely sure how to make the teriyaki sauce when it comes to the cornstarch. Like I know I saw that you should mix it in a fourth cup of water, which I did but do I warm up all the other ingredients first before I add it or do I add it I don't know I just put it all in there and went ahead and turned it on and then as soon as it starts to like boil then I take it off and usually that turns out just perfect um, a few times I made it and I burned it but as you take it off as soon as it boils it turns out great y'all <music> So I just mix the broccoli when it's done and with the chicken I did put some of the teriyaki sauce in there and then I left some out to like drizzle on top after we make the plate. So there's what's left and then let me get the plates put together for y'all. And this is what the big guys plates look like. 
Well, that's it for this video, you guys. So I ended up not getting any laundry done today, but that's okay. I can get that tomorrow. And we just had dinner and it was wonderfully good. I definitely perfected it this time. However, I have a messy kitchen again. So after you just watched me clean the kitchen, I'm going to be cleaning it again. And that's the story of our world, isn't it? But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing week, and I hope you got the motivation you needed from this video today, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I love having you here and I love spending time with you guys and I, I can't wait for us to grow as a community and I would love you to be a part of that. And remember to continue simply living your best life and I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, y'all. Bye-bye.